Hi Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Okay, their overall energy, 7th house, conjunction, Aries, 7 of pentacles, 7 of swords, 8 of wands, ace of pentacles. Mm, very mysterious, sneaky individual coming through. Um, I'm not getting someone who's, you know, 7 of swords can be, you know, a sneaky, cheater type of energy. I'm not getting that with this person. This is just someone who avoids certain, they have a hard time trusting others is what I'm getting. I'm getting insecurities here than anything else. But this person will be doing a lot of stalking, watching, observing. They're very slow moving here. Um, they'll really be dissecting any conversation, communication here, yeah, for sure. Some of you, this is a bit of a online connection with the Eight of Wands. I'm seeing a lot of back and forth communication uh, between the both of you. Or this person may be at a distance here. But Seventh House, for one, this person is very strong-willed, right? We have empowered um, Seventh House very a very affectionate character once you do get past their this you know barrier this guard they have up but they can be quite passionate as a person and they they know how to compromise they're willing to compromise and they are looking i believe for a partnership here they're looking for the one here is what i'm getting with the ace of pentacles someone they can build with long term but yeah very fiery some this can be someone who has a sharp tongue or can be a bit short tempered here with aries and eight of wands interesting character hmm. they're they're they can be patient but they can also be impulsive which is weird so sometimes they hold back and other times they rush forward sometimes they come through as shy and reserved other times they're bold and in your face that may confuse you, but it'll be interesting <laughs> trying to figure them out initially. Do keep in mind this is sort of the initial interaction. It doesn't mean that this is how your relationship will be long term. For where and how you may meet, we have 5th house Aquarius, 9 of wands, 10 of swords, king of cups. This is through your own efforts I'm getting, Aquarius. Because you are making your presence known here, um, some of you it can be may could play a significant role here, but also Leo season. Some of you have been dating around or you've been in this, you're just feeling exhausted, defeated, sort of giving me your energy when you meet this person. And this is sort of an opportunity out of nowhere. Um, some of you are feeling very complacent around the time you meet them, but they will ignite a passion within you. Um, you both will want to pursue this further and you will be holding on to each other tightly i'm getting that and there will be some yeah a lot of chemistry here with the fifth house but this can be online dating you're putting yourself out there but it's sort of saying it's through your own efforts that you run into this person let's get you more from this deck where and how you may meet Oh, okay yeah i'm getting this with the nine of wands energy number 29 almost there success is right around the corner number 39 opportunity be prepared yeah <laughs> some of you healing heart recovering from disappointment yeah you've been through a lot and i i believe this person has as well um 29 could be significant either you or this person's age perhaps or number 11 you may be seeing 11 11 but yeah, do you see this long path here? It's been a long journey, but your guides are saying keep going. Don't give up with the Nine of Wands. It's right around the corner. If you haven't met this person, it's saying be prepared, right? You're, you're, <laughs> it's around the corner. Some of you, it's summertime that you will be running into this person. Yeah, <laughs> you'll have a lot of love for this person I'm getting right away. Hopefully there may be trust issues though, but you, it won't take you long to fall in love here with them. And I think they will as well. It's a mutual attraction, Two of Cups. Your first impression of them, we have Gemini, Libra, Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Um, you'll notice the way their communication style. Um, they may come through as very talkative, but also quite diplomatic and um, gentle here. Right? Page of Cups is compassionate and can be a little 
bit flirty, but it's usually very innocent, you know? It's not that passionate flirty back and forth. It's more sweet, sweet talk. You'll notice that. You'll find this person very beautiful with Venus coming through here. You'll like the way they look, their appearance overall. And Ten of Pentacles, it's almost a 10 out of 10 of the complete package here. But you may also see them as someone who's quite family oriented. Um, as someone who's not about drama, they may be a bit... Yeah, see, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords, someone who's very calm, cool, collected as their energy, very focused on what they do. Oops, sorry about that. Or what they do for a living or their career, school, whatever they're focused on here. Finances are coming through. Um, some of you, this person may tell you they want a family. I was getting with Seventh House, Ace of Pentacles, they're looking for someone as well, right? They're looking for long term, so you'll see that. How they'll approach you, we have Neptune, Pisces, Six of Swords, Page of Wands. Again, I'm getting distance here. Um, there's something evasive about this person, their energy. They're out of reach initially, um, so they may have to communicate via, I don't know, text messages, online, Instagram, whatever, and they'll be sending you a message here from a distance, and that's for some of you. Some of them are across the ocean here with Pisces water and the water in here. But very, how they'll approach you is, you may find them a bit hard to understand, but very romantic, dreamy. You are that, you, if you don't trust this person, I can see why. I don't see anything negative about them, but they're just secretive in general. But yeah, they'll be very flirty and they'll flirt. You know, I think it starts off with the Page of Cups more sweet, innocent, and then it sort of evolves into more fiery, passionate which they are, right? Aries and Eight of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, so some of you, they will be traveling towards you. You'll be traveling towards them. Initially, it may be more text messages back and forth. You're getting to know one another is sort of the scenario. With the pentacles, if you meet through work, yeah, they will be flirting with you. Um, at work, I hope, maybe, but it can be sending you a message outside of work, adding you on some... Um, social media um, to gather more information about you with the seven of swords for what kind of relationship you'll have eighth house square opposition knight of swords two of cups emperor magician four of pentacles see this is the opposites attract you'll have challenges um, sometimes with communication here one or both of you may be very impulsive and the other may be very sensitive with neptune pisces so that may prove to be a bit, an, a bit of an obstacle here, but you can work through this. And another issue I'm getting, well, the chemistry will be off the charts. We have intimacy, eighth house, but with that intimacy comes, you know, the more shadow aspect of Scorpio, which is emperor, magician, four of pentacles. There's jealousy, there's control issues, and that will be a bit of an issue here. One person is my way or the highway. They're trying to manipulate and control the situation. But you both will be holding on to each other very tightly. I think once you meet, it'll be hard to let go of each other. And there's a strong emotional, intuitive bond between the both of you. And it will move forward quickly here with the Knight of Swords, Two of Cups. In Knight of Swords, very impatient energy, right? And we have Eight of Wands and Aries in their energy very exciting though Aquarius I'm getting the common bond between the both of you we have trine second house third house king of pentacles high priestess ten of wands you both are very hard-working dedicated um, you want to build something stable perhaps some of you want marriage stability long-term commitment and that is what you have in common but with the second house it's also um, you can be a bit of a power couple coming through here you're very business focused and you both are hard working so you both will be willing to put in the effort to make this work and there's again i'm getting that strong intuitive with trying flow and high priestess emotionally you seem to be very compatible it's the control issues at times i'll get in the way and strong mental connection here as well with the third house one of you will really like the other person's voice i'm getting it's very soothing it'll calm you with the high priestess we have two two here 
But yeah, great conversation here as well. Some of you, your conversation about business. <laughs> you get along and you respect one another's opinions here. Let's see, let's get you some orc. Oh, let's start with your animal um, spirit cards. For We'll get more about their personality. What is this person like? Aquarius singles. Next serious relationship. A zebra, very unique character coming through. And oyster, we have a water coming through. And we have elk. Let's see. We have oyster. Um, with the seven of pentacles, it says patient, secret keeper. Yeah, with the seven of swords, hiding inner treasures. So I was telling you, right, it's nothing negative here, but they're, they are a secretive person. Um, the focus and determination of the oyster is unmatched. Anything an oyster personality puts their mind to, they achieve with grace and charm. Beautiful. Wow. This is really, right, seventh house. Um, very graceful, charming individual. The only problem is oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy or doubtful, okay? And this can lead to withdrawing or protecting their deepest desires and life's work. When the oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What, it, what is it you've been hesitant to share? The world is waiting to see. So this person may lack confidence although they appear very confident with the eight of wands aries they hold back a lot it's almost dimming their own light here they have some gifts that the, they need to share with the world perhaps you'll you'll be very supportive and encouraging of them or um they will benefit from that aquarius when in balance feels blessed generous masterful when out of balance it's reluctant gripping clams up yeah, this person has a hard time sharing their innermost feelings. Some of them are spiritually gifted here. Yeah, but this is a type of person, um, you know, that you've been with for years and you're constantly discovering new aspects. It's a very complex character is what I'm getting. Let's see with the zebra here. Water, they may have strong fire water placements. We have eccentric, creative, visionary. Zebras are the most precious of gems. They are young at heart, well-cultured. Yeah, you were seeing them as Ten of Pentacles and have an undying curiosity about life. Being in the company of a zebra personality not only is a delight, but also opens our mind. Be prepared. Their potent magic is contagious and you may soon find yourself in a faraway land. Again, that element of distance. Expanding your world view while having a blast. Zebras also like to contribute contribute to the global health through environmental or volunteer work. This card may be a hint to pack your bags. Yeah, a strong um, reference to travel here. When in balance, worldly, enthusiastic, fashion forward. When out of balance, jaded, pouty vein. To bring into balance, we have an epic adventure or art. I like them. Very sensitive, unique, sort of that creative. Some of you, it's sort of that lost artist vibe I'm getting with the Pisces Neptune. And they may feel misunderstood. Not a lot of people get where they're coming from. So they repress their talents, their creativity, their ideas. very mysterious hey yeah with the oyster i'm getting that you will be very intrigued i'm aquarius let's see with this island time wellness aquarius singles next serious relationship partner oh this is the most beautiful combination look we have stabbed in the back and we had ten of swords Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. What happened here? Did some of you go through something painful? A breakup? Or this person did? 
when I was shuffling, I was seeing the Three of Swords. And you're viewing them as the Four of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, we have soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract with the Two of Cups. And we have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Yeah, that's both of your connection together. It's soulmate love here. Let's get one more for you. Kisses. <laughs> We have unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Some of you, right, there's control issues. We have the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over the shoulder, the other woman. There's a lot of jealousy, control, possessiveness, both of you suspicious, the other has a wandering eye. That's for some of you, it won't be for everyone, but mostly very positive vibe here. Don't, yeah, the unconditional love, unconditionally loving. You both will. This is true love here, Aquarius. Let's see, with this Kipper deck, Aquarius singles, next serious relationship. Thoughts, yeah, you will be thinking about this person a lot. Um, we have mature woman, so the female the feminine may be a bit older or just mature in their manner here the way they present themselves the masculine it seems will be it's a similar image will be doing a lot of thinking here about the feminine if it's you know thinking i'm seeing c and m here some of you that may be initial here c m they can be an artist a painter we did have a lot of artistic right neptune pisces aquarius singles main female mature woman and main female yeah this person will put you on a pedestal you'll be the only one here yeah we have a couple and look uh, distant horizons the distance marriage we have main male and main female paired with marriage yeah a lot of changes as a result that some of you may be moving this person may be moving to be with you uh let's get you these love cards beautiful i love this we have marriage soulmate love kisses and those of you that know about this island time wellness, there's there's some negative cards in there. Um, similar to this deck, sometimes I'm scared to use this because it's a lit. It can be very blunt here. Let's see, Aquarius singles next serious relationship. Delight. Look at that. What was I saying? Jealousy, a problem very suspicious especially you know if it is distance it, it, that that makes sense you don't know initially right can you trust this person wow aquarius we have a marriage and commitment the erotic yeah strong truth fear of inadequacy yeah it's very triggering for one or both let's get one more for you aquarius but do you see the rainbow here and the sun beautiful friends and family will be very approving for some of you i'm getting that with the delight it's the communities coming together there's a long path ahead of both of you You'll be with one another long for a while here. Those of you wanting marriage, children, I see that. Withdrawal. Yeah, this withdrawal problem. They can as well. They pull back. But look at here. Yeah, loneliness, pain, old wounds. Someone's healing from a past betrayal here with the Ten of Swords. Um, take your time with this one, Aquarius. Don't rush things. 
um, but yeah one of you may have been single for a while here as well with that we have divine mission together number 51 Aquarius singles but yeah one of you may have been single for a while um, sort of this is interesting do you see how he's there's a group of people he's sitting by the tree by himself and they're wanting him to join him but he's not but um, when you both come together it's celebration um, someone's been isolating themselves for too long and you may introduce one another to I don't know this will be a mutually beneficial association I think you may you know status here improvement but also them introducing you to friends, family, and vice versa here. Uh, Aquarius singles. Next series. We got, yeah, the truth will be revealed again. Number eight. Uh, falling out of love. I'm not seeing that strongly, but we'll see. Yeah, deep in thought, ready to make a change. Perhaps one of you were in a situation, you know, unrequited thought. But do you see that? We have thoughts and deep in thought. Okay, love triangle, playing the field. I want to clarify, clarify this falling out of love. This is sort of the initial stages when you're getting to know in the dating, someone may be keeping their options open. And that is creating some issues. Yeah, we have difficult choice. Um, someone will have to make a choice between two people. Either you, Aquarius, or this person will. Uh, let's get you. For fun, let's see. What will this person think of Aquarius when they meet them for the first time? Okay, I like that. I like the way you aren't afraid to be yourself. So that's what they'll love you. What will Aquarius think of this person when they meet them for the first time? <laughs> it's okay that we have different hobbies. I like your vulnerability. Yeah, with the Pisces energy. Uh, what will Aquarius think? I want one. One for you, Aquarius. But you will love this person's vulnerability. They're very soft and gentle in their approach. Nope. Okay, this is wanting to come through. Will your friends like me? Yeah, again, the delight. So some of you may think, will you fit in with this person? Their family, their friends. Um, let's get you this deck. Um, I didn't do this for all the signs, but th I don't know, this falling out of love, tempting offer, making me want to get these mixed signals, I'm getting that. A lover is unsure of what they want, sending you mixed signals, causing great confusion. Maybe it's best to move on. So yeah, initially it will be frustrating, but you can work through this. We have teamwork and marriage here. Um, whatever you lack, they got you and vice versa. You have found your teammate and love and in life. Okay, this is coming through again. Uh, we have transformative and marriage. You will look at the, the long distance at the bottom. You will either take your relationship to the next level or you will get married. There's much to celebrate. Sacred bond. 
long distance. Some of you married with children, but nope, I don't see that strongly. If that is the case, this person will be picking you, it seems. But that's for maybe a couple of you. Uh, let's see advice for you. We have this twice for you, Aquarius, for the men here. But we have mature women. So, ladies, we have a possibly dark-haired who is high energy, stylish, and very determined. She is articulate, well-educated, and flourishes as the center of attention. Um, switch the gender for women. It can be mature man here. Um, possibly this is someone who is dark-haired. Uh, let's see, what advice do you have for Aquarius? Some of 